Hi, I'm Christian Robinson, and we're going to talk about Best Buy's brand image and some of the attributes that it has that make it good and bad. Um, in general, we're going to talk about the quality of the product attributes, benefits, or attitudes, the people and relationships, the values and programs, and the corporate credibility that Best Buy has. Uh, so, the quality of the products and services. Um, the slogan on Best Buy's website is expert service, unbeatable price. I think this is a good slogan, but they don't always carry it out super well. Um, I would say that their service is good, but it's not the best in every category. I got an audio system installed in my car a couple years ago, and at first I went to an audio store and they quoted me at $200, but they really knew what they were talking about. And I went to Best Buy to get the same audio equipment installed, and they said, oh yeah, it'll be $50. but I was asking them some questions about like what wire I would need and some different things like that, and they really didn't know. They just kept saying, oh, it'll only cost $50. I'm not really worried if it only costs $50 if you know what you're doing, but if you don't know what you're doing, I would really rather have it installed by someone who does. So I thought that wasn't great, but on the other hand, their Geek Squad is really good. My mom has had troubles with her PC every now and then, and every time she takes it into the Geek Squad, they fix it and it works perfectly afterwards. So that's always really good. Um, their unbeatable prices, I did not think was really true. Uh, for example, Walmart, a lot of the time, that's what their whole goal is, is to beat other people's prices. So a lot of the time, Walmart will beat them. And another thing is Amazon. Amazon can really undercut prices and they will really take away a lot of business. Um, on the innovativeness side, for Best Buy, something that's really cool, unlike Amazon, is that you can go in and try the product before you buy it. Uh, they're better than Walmart at this too because a lot of Walmart stuff is just left in the packaging and you can't try it. But most of Best Buy's products you can try. They're on the shelf and you can just pick them up and use them. Uh, and another thing is that even though their service isn't always perfect, it is really good and you can always find somebody there to help you out. So I, I thought that was really good. Uh, the people and relationship side of Best Buy, um, to me the customer service has always been friendly and they always ask if I need help and in general they know what they're talking about. Um, again, not always perfect, but usually pretty good. I was looking up some reviews on um, resellerratings.com and a lot of the ratings that they got did not follow what I felt about Best Buy. A lot of customers were really upset with the service and didn't think Best Buy was looking out for them. So I'll talk about that more in detail later. Some of the values and programs that Best Buy has are really good. Um, their concern with environment I really enjoy because as soon as you walk in the doors of Best Buy they have a recycling program for all of your electronics. This can be anything from cell phones to remotes to TVs, um, and I think batteries too. Um, but that's really cool. You can just take in your electronics and then they'll deal with the recycling from there. Another thing is, is that they reduce carbon emissions in their stores um, to keep from polluting the air. So that's also really awesome. Uh, they're socially responsible, uh, their supply chain, they make sure that people that are making their products are getting paid fair wages. Um, so unlike the garment industry, they aren't just going who, to who can make the product the cheapest, which is really neat. Um, they also have info information on the packaging that teaches consumers like what the product does to save energy, how much energy it saves, and how it can impact the environment. Uh, this is really good. It shows that they're socially responsible and they're environmentally friendly. Now onto the corporate credibility section. Um, the expertise, trustworthiness, and likability were not very well taken by consumers on this uh, resellerratings.com site that I found. I have always had good service, but some of the people on here were saying that the products aren't good. Uh, one lady was saying that she or she bought a laptop in Best Buy, and when she took it home, half of the power cord was missing for it. 
So she took it back to the store and um, tried to return it to get a different one, and Best Buy wouldn't take it back. Um, they said, you should have all of the accessories for this, uh, this is on you, but she was saying that she never received them. Um, and after fighting with Best Buy for a while, the lady finally got them into saying, okay, we'll take the laptop back, but you have to pay for the power cord. But if she didn't get the power cord in the first place, the consumer shouldn't be the one eating this cost. It should be the company. Um, you should put the trust in the consumer because even though, even if something weird happens, like they just stole the power cord, if you, for lack of better words, screw over the customer, they're not going to want to come back. So I think it's really important uh, to make sure that you fall on the side of the consumer and give them the benefit of the doubt. Um, for me, on the other hand, I've always had good service. If something's broken, they'll take it back, um, and they're usually helping me out. So I like them. Um, trustworthiness. Um, some of the consumers on the resellerratings.com site were saying that uh, they would just wait, Best Buy would just wait for the warranties to run out. Somebody took in a product and the warranty had literally run out 12 hours earlier, and Best Buy wouldn't help them out. I think this is a really poor way to market it, because even if it's 12, it is past the warranty date, 12 hours should not completely make a consumer not be able to get their product returned or replaced. That's really not cool. Um, on the other hand, uh, I've had really good service. Uh, this past Christmas break, my dad went in to get some speakers from Best Buy because he saw um, that they were on sale, but Best Buy was saying that we're actually not allowed to sell these. These are from the supplier, and uh, we can't sell them to you. So um, they worked with the supplier, and my dad actually got a set of speakers. They are originally cost $5,000, and he got them for $2,700. So I thought that was really cool at Best Buy. Uh, they've always worked with us, so I'm not sure why um, my Best Buy might be better than somebody else's Best Buy. Uh, their likability, I like Best Buy, but according to a lot of the consumers that I've read their ratings online, they really are not fans of Best Buy. On the resellerratings.com, they got a 0.2 out of 10 score for likability. So. That was not super good. But some things that I would say could help out Best Buy or recommendations that I have. Uh, for number one, I would say they should have something called Amazon Price Match. It would be it's similar to the way Walmart had their price match thing. But um, if Best Buy just focused on Amazon to match their prices, that would really eliminate a lot of people going in Best Buy to try out the product just to leave and order it on Amazon. I know I'm guilty of doing this too, uh, because if I can go in and try the product at Best Buy, but then go and get it for $10 cheaper on Amazon, that's probably what I'll do. Um, another thing is better employee training. Um, I really think they need to know more about the products that they're selling, uh, because if I can go online and find more information than they know online, in about five seconds on my phone, I that's not good. Um, another thing is the customer service. They need better employee training for the customer service. Um, they need to fall on the side of the consumer and really help them out to make consumers happy with the service that they're getting from Best Buy. Um, and also just, we need to make ads to advertise these different changes. But those are my recommendations. Um, I will continue to work with your marketing team to implement these changes, and I would love to continue to work with uh, Best Buy in the future uh, to implement more changes to make the brand image even better. Uh, thank you for your time.